Clearwater Lodge is a special place. There's an almost an aura, there's a mystical feeling to the lodge. The lodge history really goes back all the way to 1909. It was in 1909 that Charlie came up here for the first time. He came up here in 1909 with a prospector and he carried all the prospector's stuff. And Gunflin Trail was just a path. He fell in love with the place and decided that this is where he wanted to live. He already knew Grandma and he went back to Mille Lacs and asked her to marry him and she said, well, I won't live in a tent, so he had to build a house. They stood here on the West End and he deemed at that time the best view on the Gunflin Trail. He told her that he had been a guide in the area, he'd been all over the lakes and seen them all and this was the best view. And they said well, someday we should build a lodge here and have a resort. There was already a small fishing camp in the area. They had some cabins staged here. One of those was for sale in 1914. They bought that cabin in 1914. And in 1915, they opened Clearwater Lake Lodge. The building is more than just a bunch of logs. It's a guy's craftsmanship. It's the stories of the building. We're on the National Historic Registry. We're the oldest lodge on the Gunflint Trail. We're the original outfitters of the trail. This is our business 97th year outfitting on the trail and helping people enjoy the Gunflint Trail. Those 97 years can be felt when you come here. We have a bed and breakfast. We also have cabins and then we also have our outfitting part of the business. People could come in here, they can get a cabin. Our cabins rent for a week usually. They have their own cabin, they have a kitchen, there's a bathroom. Many of them are older cabins. Four of our cabins are original buildings built for the lodge. We have a general store that we stock with all sorts of fun things, souvenir items, clothing items, items that would be needed, tackle. And then we also have our bakery, which we have the granddaughter of Charlie and Petra Boostrom baking. She bakes the same recipes as her grandmother. People really love her bread and her cinnamon rolls and other things like that. Clearwater Lodge is the perfect place for anybody who wants to get up in nature and just relax and enjoy being away from it all. It's perfect for families who want to come and spend some time together in a cabin. It's perfect for a couple who wants to come in and just spend some time together or go out paddling, anybody who wants to come up and see nature and be out in the element. They can take a canoe down the lake, they can take a kayak down the lake. We have stand-up paddle boards, we have paddle boats. Or if they're not into water sports, they can go hiking. We sit at the entrance to several great hiking trails. The Palisades is probably our number one most done activity here, where people paddle a little more than a mile across the lake, and they'll climb up the Palisades, which are about 400 feet tall. People are still able to not only enjoy the view of them, but they can go across the lake and hike to the top of them and have the view as they look across the expanse of Clearwater Lake and right back at the lodge. Fishing is the number one reason why people come to Boundary Waters. It's many people's opinion that the Boundary Waters is North America's best smallmouth fishery. I know walleye and northern pike get a lot of press and went on the state of Minnesota, but our smallmouth fishing up here is what I think is the best type of fishing we have. The way we chose Clearwater is actually that Clearwater chose us because we were paddling for a week-long trip and this was our exit point. So we pulled up and we were on the beach and just looked up and saw this lodge and had to find out more. It's really become part of who we are because this is our third week of May every year. We have done this now for 16 years with Clearwater. I've been coming for 20. And so if we didn't do this every year, I think our year would be totally uh, out of kilter.